Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we describe things to do and things to avoid when writing a glyph script. To illustrate this concept, I have in front of you a very simple journal file that, as you can see, has pretty much three pieces of code that are essentially the same. Each one of these pieces of code is in charge of creating a single connector. So here goes the first recommendation. Do not use a journal file like this one as a production glyph script. There are many reasons why this is not really a good idea. One of them is the fact that not everything that gets added to a journal file needs to actually be in a production glyph script. For example, that line that you see highlighted over there is in charge of saving an undo step. This is most likely something that you're not going to need in your production glyph script. Another reason, for example, is that if you happen to open a file, the path to that file gets journal as a hard-coded path and that is not the recommended way of doing this we recommend in that case using the file tickle operation to manage paths to files the second recommendation is to use meaningful names for tickle variables. As you can see right here, we have several tickle variables that have been defined automatically by pointwise. When you look at these names, you don't get an idea what kind of information they might contain. So instead of doing something like this, we recommend that again, you use meaningful names for tickle variables. That way, when you actually look at your script and you read the name of the variable, you kind of have an idea about what kind of information that variable actually contains. The third and last recommendation is to use tickle procedures when appropriate. As you can see again here, you have three pieces of code that are essentially the same. The only thing that changes is the coordinates, the XYZ coordinates of the points used to define the connectors. Instead of doing something like this, I would recommend writing a tickle procedure and putting inside that procedure a clean that version of this piece of code. And then you can actually call that procedure as many times as you need to to create connectors. This is going to ensure that your script is easy to follow and easy to understand. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.